Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'll be trying out the Korean beauty trend called Jamsu. Jamsu means submerging. I first saw this technique on Pop Sugar maybe about two months ago. And just the other day, I saw one of my favorite beauty uh, guru gurus, uh, Nakia Joy, uh, do this technique and her makeup look awesome. Um, what, what it is, it's pretty much the same technique as baking. The only difference is you're submerging your face in um, cold water to set your makeup. Um, the only difference of what I'm going to be doing today, instead of submerging my face in cold water, I'm just going to go ahead and do the water bottle, water, water bottle technique. Um, I saw some com comments um, under her video about that a lot of people do the water bottle and technique instead of dunking their face. So I did a little bit more research on that and um, a lot of people do use that method besides the submerging and it's supposed to be the same exact um, outcome. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. The first thing you do is you just do your normal um, foundation routine, meaning your moisturizer, your primer, your foundation, and your concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I've already moisturized my face, so now I'm going to put on my MAC mat Mattifying Primer. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my eyeshadow base on just because I always put my eyeshadow base on before I do my foundation. And it is my MAC Painterly Pot. Be putting on my foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Normally, before I put on my foundation, I use uh, Benefits Benefits um, Professional. Um, but I'm not using that today just because I want to see um, if this technique helps with the pores because I was reading up on it and it says it's supposed to keep your pores um, small. So I just wanted to try it without any other product for pores. The bow dunking technique, um, all the videos that I saw or you know watched, um, it looked really messy. Got everybody's hair all wet. Um, so I'm hoping that this water bottle one won't be as messy. We'll see. Next thing I'm going to do is put on my concealer. Now comes the fun part. This is the part where you pack on uh, powder on your face, like you're going to bake your whole face. And on the original Korean instructions, it said to use baby powder. Um, I don't have baby powder and honestly, I don't like the smell of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use my RCMA powder because I figure it's as close as it can get to baby powder. Um, Nikia Joy used the Laura Mercier powder. So I was kind of torn if I should use this one or this one. So, but I'm going to go ahead and use this just because it's close to baby powder. So it says go ahead and pack it on your whole face with your blender. I'm kind of closing my eyes because I don't want it to get into my eyes because I wear contacts.
We're getting all over my shirt. Oh. Don't wear black. Just to really pack it on there. I'm hoping this will keep your skin matte for a longer period of time. Um, I normally get oily in the T-zones, which is right here, all the way here, here, and here. So I didn't have a spray bottle with a super fine mist, but I remembered that I carry this um, in my bag. So it's the Evian Mineral Water. And what I did is I put it in the ice box for a couple of hours because it's supposed to be cold water. So let me go ahead and spray this on. face is drenched and um, when you dunk it if you're doing a dunking method you're supposed to leave it on leave your face in um, for maybe 30 seconds if you have oily skin and if you have dry skin not to leave it more than 15 seconds so I'm just gonna leave it on for maybe 30 seconds because I, I pretty much have oily skin in my t-zone looking at it you can't even see that I had powder on there So next step, next step you do is you take a cloth or a paper towel and you're supposed to just pat it dry. Um, so I'm just going to lightly pat it dry because I don't want to disturb any of the foundation. First thing I noticed is right here it kind of rubbed off. And my face does look a little bit whiter from the powder. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I put on the rest of my makeup and honestly, it's my face feels super, super smooth. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, my pores look really good. It actually looks like I did use the professional, you know, when I usually put it on before my foundation. Um, I did notice that when I put on um, my um, contour and my blush that it went on super super smooth the smoothest i think i've ever felt it go on um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go about my day and then i'll check back um, maybe i'm trying to shoot for maybe eight or nine hours to see um if my face is still matte um how my pores look um, i'm not gonna do any kind of touch up so i'll be back later hi guys i'm back for my check-in so I forgot to tell you guys that um, after I did my makeup, it was about 7, a little after 7, 7, 10 in the morning. It's now almost 3 o'clock, so I've um, had my makeup on for almost 8 hours and I haven't touched it up or anything and I am like really amazed by the way it looks. Um, I keep looking at it because it's, it's so matte. And my pores are like, I can't even see my pores. It's usually around three to four hours is usually during the day is the first time I, I um, touch up my makeup and I don't add any more powder when I do touch up. All I do is I use um, blotting sheets and I didn't do that at all, but it's almost eight hours and my face, it to me, it almost looks as close as if I had just done my makeup. It's it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I, I'll do this every single day because it seems like it's a little bit of, of work to do, but I don't know, I, I might. Um, I just might go out because earlier I couldn't find a, a, a bottle that had you know a stream that was a fine mist. I might just actually go out and go look for one because um, I use this and I, I won't be using this every all the, all the time because this is super expensive. I got this from Sephora and this is just a little bottle. Um, it comes in a two pack and I think it's like, I 
paid $14 for it, so I wouldn't use this. I would just get a spray bottle and get one that has a super fine mist and add, I wouldn't use tap water, I would use probably bottled water just to make sure that it's clean water. But yeah, um, I, I'm just, I'm really amazed on how matte my face is and um, I can't stop thinking about the fact when I was putting on my makeup the blush and the contour went on so smooth. I think this is like the the most, um, to me, airbrush looking blush and contour that I think I've ever had on my face and I'm super happy about it. So I don't know, I might do it every single day. I'm not sure. I know definitely I'm not doing the face dunking one because that one looked a little too messy for me. But yeah, this seems to work. Really am. I'm impressed. I don't know how it works or why it works, but I am impressed. So that's it, guys. I hope this video helped you. If you were thinking of trying to do this Korean technique, um, go ahead and try it. Um, I, I think it works. Uh, either try the original face dunking in the bowl or the spray bottle. I'm still kind of on the fence um, if I'm gonna go ahead and do this every single day. I'm gonna try it during the weekday before I go to work a couple times to see how, how much time it takes for me, you know, so how much extra time it takes for me to get ready. But yeah, um, if you have any comments, go ahead and put it below. Please don't forget to subscribe and always remember age is just a number. Till next time, bye.